My name is Scott and I'm reviewing all of the political parties in Australia at the moment and this is my video on the Australian Labour Party. Um, okay, so the Labour Party. Now, where do you start? Um, so the Labour Party is uh, the current governing party in Australia. They're the government and they're led by Kevin Rudd who everyone knows as the PM, the Prime Minister of Australia. Um, the Labour Party is uh, one half of what is largely a two-party system, uh, meaning they're, they're one of the two big parties in Australia. Um, the other, of course, being uh, the Liberal Party, or more correctly, the Liberal Coalition. Uh, the Labour Party have had 14 Prime Ministers in the past, out of a total 27. Um, one characteristic of the Labour Party to note is that they have uh, factions or divisions in the party um, for differing viewpoints, so it's like little collectives within the party um, that that express uh, the different opinions on their policies, and um, and factions work together to uh, to create the views of the party. Uh, historically, the Labor Party ran as a what we call a social democratic party, which means that. Uh, they were uh, wanting to represent the people and they had some very strong links with trade unions and they still do. Um, trade unions have always been almost synonymous in Australia with the Labour Party um, and those bonds are still there. They're, they're quite well established, uh, not as much as they used to be but they're still pretty strong. Um, yeah, so uh, the scope of the party has changed somewhat in recent years. Um, and that's largely due to the global financial crisis, but it's also to do with uh, the factions themselves within the party and expressing different opinions, um, amongst other things. It it has to be said, um, so since the Labour government, now they've been in, um, they've been the government of Australia since 2007, or the governing party of Australia since 2007. So uh, since then, uh, I think they've done some some remarkable things, and um, they've also done some questionable things. Um, now, I'll, again, um, I'll, I'll try and keep my my opinion out of this, but I did want to mention a couple of things the Labour Party have done. Um, in uh, when we were facing the two thousand and nine global financial crisis, uh, the Labour Party, and this was was largely the work of. Uh, Wayne Swan, who was the treasurer at the time, he's still a, a prominent member of the Labour Party, um, but he was the the, tr the federal treasurer. Um, but he and his party put in place a series of steps, which basically averted any kind of financial crisis in Australia whatsoever, and it, it really made us the basically the strongest economy in the world. Um, it was extraordinarily successful. Um, and it stunned critics and it stunned everyone in the world pretty much. Um, it, it, it stunned uh, overseas economies and um, it, uh, it was a real shock to uh, the opposition party, the Liberal Party, because the Liberal Party have been touting themselves as economic powerhouses of Australia and they'd always considered themselves the, the economic stalwarts. So it really... Um, it, really shocked them and shocked everyone but it was ridiculously successful and the way of life here is amazing um, in this country and that's largely due to our, our strong economic position and we really um, there's a lot of different reasons for it but um, certainly that the moves taken by uh, the current government um, have to be considered as um, as if nothing else influential um, to our, our economic state um, other things the um, the Labour Party have done uh, since two thousand and seven, they've done some some I guess landmark social changes. They initialed, uh, sorry, they initiated a and then issued a formal apology to the Indigenous people of Australia uh, in two thousand and eight. Um, they they have. Uh, 
undertaken and are starting to roll out uh, a national fiber broadband network, which is a massive undertaking in a country this size. It's a it's a very big task, um, but it's well due. Um, Australians have had um, have been behind the rest of the world statistically in internet speeds for some time. Um, and the Labor Party have also, in the process of rolling out a, a national disability uh, insurance scheme, um, which is really improving the lives of people with, uh, with uh, different disabilities. Um, on the other hand, the Labor Party have uh, come under fire quite recently for a number of decisions that they've made. And um, they've come across as uh, to be perhaps more conservative and uh, they've even been touted as neoliberal, um, more than we previously thought anyway. Um, the most notable of these issues has been the Labor, sorry, the, the Labor government's stance on asylum seekers um, with a, a very strong uh, you will not be settled in Australia message. Uh, which has uh, caused some, I guess, some some debate between uh, different political uh, viewpoints in Australia and different parties. Um, it, that hasn't sat well with, uh, I guess, the the more left wing parties, um, and it's it's been viewed as draconian, and uh, there's there's a lot of debate. It's it's one of our, our large issues at the moment. Um, the Labor Party have also come under attack for cuts to health. Um, they've made a few cuts to the health uh, the health system in the country, and also cuts to tertiary education. They've employed um, a or they've committed to increasing funding for primary and secondary education, but largely at the cost of tertiary education. So, um, yeah. There's uh, pros and cons, I guess, of um, of some of the decisions that the Labor Party have taken. Um, but nevertheless, um, the the government is. I mean, obviously, it's uh, the, the, one of the biggest two parties in Australia, and uh, has been for a very long time for very good reason. Um, the that's about all that I I think I want to say about the Australian Labor Party. Um, by all means, check out the links to, to the party website and to the Wikipedia entry, and they're both at the bottom of this video in the, in the, the description. And if you like this video, feel free to click like, um, feel free to share it if you wish, and uh, I'll see you for my next review very soon. Thank you. Stop! Have a time!